What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments about my build and how to make it so I'm going to show you guys right now. First you do want to go shooting guard, then for the pie chart you're going to want to pick the second one, the finishing and shooting one. I think this is one of the best pie charts in the game and this build is very fun to use and for the physical profile you want to choose the top one just so you have the most speed possible and so you can speed boost at any overall. When it comes to the attributes, you want to max out your close shot, max out your driving layup, max out your driving dunk, and then max out your standing dunk. And then you want to put two onto your post hook just so you can get 17 finishing badges. When it comes to shooting, you want to max everything out. Just max out your mid-range three-pointer free throw and post fade. And if you really want to, you can lower your mid-range down to a 77 and still keep 21 shooting badges, but I'm going to max it. When it comes to playmaking, you want to put the pass accuracy to 79, max out your ball handling, and then put your post moves to 43. And if you really want to, you can not upgrade the post moves. You can put the pass accuracy up. But I think if you do that, the build will actually be called an offensive threat and not a scoring machine. So that's why I made it this way. Then when it comes to defense, you want to max out your perimeter defense, max out your lateral quickness, max out your steal, max out your block, and then you want to put your defensive rebound all the way up as much as you can just so you can get five defensive badges. And if you really want to, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can get 16 finishing badges and eight defensive badges, but honestly, on a guard, you only really need five defensive badges in my opinion, which is clamps gold, interceptor bronze, and intimidator bronze. For my body shape, I chose define, but it doesn't really matter. You guys can choose whatever you want. Then for the height, I made this build 6'5". If you do make it any taller, as you can see, the ball control and the driving dunk will drop. So I think you'll be able to get contact dunk still. You just have to hit 98 overall instead of 96. But it's going to be very hard to speed boost at 6'6", six because six your ball control and your speed drop a lot. So I just stuck with 6'5". If you really want to, you can make this build 6'4", but I think 6'5 is definitely the better height. When it comes to weight, I actually maxed out the weight on my offensive threat. But on this scoring machine build, I put the weight all the way down just so I could have as much speed and acceleration as possible. Then for the wingspan, I put that all the way down. You need to do this in order to get 86 ball control. And the really good thing about this build is you can choose one of these four takeovers. All these takeovers are good. I think Shot Creator is the worst out of these. So I would go with either Sharpshooter or Slasher. Playmaker is pretty fun. It's decent. It's not the best. But I went with Slasher because I think that fits my playstyle the most and it's the most fun. So I would recommend either Slasher or Sharpshooter. And as you can see, when we do make this build, it is called a scoring machine. Anyway, that's how to make the build and let's get right into the video. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! 